Hey, hello everybody, it is Sukasa, and welcome back to Minecraft Feed the Beast. So, you're probably wondering, where have the Feed the Beast episodes been for the last month? And where have just your channel updates and uploads been in general for the last month? Not very many of them going out. And wait a minute, why are you on the Create a New World screen? What the heck happened to the old one? Well, there are multiple answers to those multiple questions. Um... I do want to apologize for the rather slow upload schedule I've had for the last month or so. There are reasons for that. Uh, maybe I'll go into that a bit later. But first up, where have the FTB episodes been? Well, last month after uploading the last uh, episode in that series, and uh, I was getting ready to continue along with the series and make new episodes, I realized that like the day before, <laughs> the FTB team started releasing the uh, new packs for the Minecraft version 1.6. And I was very conflicted, and had been conflicted for quite a while, as to whether or not to just continue along with the 1.5 Unleashed pack, or to start over completely using the uh, the new 1.6 packs. And I've decided to, yeah, I'm just going to start over with the 1.6 packs. Um, because the mod list has changed very significantly. Um, in Unleashed, some of those mods are not in the 1.6. And um, some of the mods in the 1.6 were not in Unleashed. Um, but mainly the reason is because the, I guess you could call them staple mods, like um, Tinker's Construct, Industrial Craft, Thermal Expansion, they've gone through, pretty much all of them really, have gone through a massive overhaul with 1.6. And they don't work the same way anymore. So trying to watch the unleashed videos I made and figure out how to work those mods now with 1.6 that's not gonna help you at all because those mods have completely changed so that's the main reason why I'm gonna just start over and we're gonna use the uh, the new direwolf 20 pack for Minecraft version 1.6.4 so that's why we're making a new world here let's call it uh, Sue craft uh, 20 <laughs> and I'm using the um, the 1.0 0.9 uh, version of Direwolf 20, um, the new Direwolf 20 for 1.6. So, yes, and uh, more world options here. Okay, the main reason why I want to show you the uh, create a world screen here is because um, a mod called Biomes of Plenty, it was available to be used in the old uh, 1.5 packs like Unleashed. Um, but it was not enabled by default. You had to uh, rather convolutedly go into the launcher and uh, click the uh, edit mod pack list and then select biomes of plenty from the disabled list and shoot it over to the enabled list. And then whenever you made a world, it would use the extra biomes in biomes of plenty. Um, now that's completely changed and you can have uh, one world with Biomes of Plenty and another world with uh, the vanilla uh, just default worlds. So um, that's pretty cool. You just click through the world type here and you go through the three uh, vanilla ones and then the fourth option is Biomes of Plenty. And this mod is really great. It adds uh, just an absurd amount like 15 or 20 new biomes which is crazy. There's still the uh, the vanilla biomes in with the, the extra ones. You still get you know extreme hills and whatnot along with the 15 or 20 new ones. So, why not? We're going to use that. And um, for a seed name, let's use something, I don't know, exceedingly vulgar yet hilarious. Uh, how about cunt puncher? <laughs> All right, let's punch this cunt. <laughs> Be right back. Nice. All right, let's put us down in a Biomes of Plenty area. This is actually a cherry blossom. Very nice. Digging it. Looks like a pretty good map. So, while we wait for the world to finish loading around us so we don't lag out, briefly for a minute, let's do some Sue news. So, where have the uploads been for the better part of a month? They've been pretty sparse. Well, there's a few reasons for that. Obviously, the uh, the holidays had a big role to play in that. Four out of the last six weeks, I've had family in town. And as you can imagine, trying to find time when it's quiet enough to do recordings when I have family in town, it's not very easy to do. Uh, I tried to do what I could here and there, uh, get like a few of those Starbound episodes out. But um, 
yeah, they, uh, they left like yesterday, so uh, hopefully pretty soon we'll be back to a very regular uh, schedule. Um, uh, the other reason, uh, without without getting too personal, I do feel like I should fill you guys in on a few of the uh, the real life things that are going on with me. Um, a close family member of mine has been diagnosed with a serious illness, uh, cancer. They start treatment next week. Um, so that's why I had a family in for so long. Uh, over the holidays, we were just trying to spend as much time together as a family uh, as we could before you know things go downhill with that. But, so I hope you guys understand. Um, anyway, though, looks like the world has probably finished loading around us, so let's get started. All right, just like any other map, let's start by punching that cunt. I mean, punching that wood. <laughs> this is the beautiful cherry wood. And um, it, I really like the looks of cherry wood. The planks that it makes are very spiffy looking, excellent for uh, building with. It really looks great. And maybe you notice uh, in the top of the screen there is a tooltip that tells you uh, what this thing is. It tells you that it's cherry wood, cherry trees. So if you run across a tree you don't recognize and uh, you want to know what the heck that is, all you have to do is walk up to it mouse over it and they'll tell you what it is as well as what mod pack adds that which you can see is biomes of plenty it's pretty cool uh this is uh tooltip thing is added by Wellia. Wellia, i think it's called uh it's an acronym for what am i looking at which uh that's exactly what it does <laughs> anyway though let's get started here and convert some of this down um you know what? Actually, first thing we need to do is uh, fix this. Uh, any eye, I really don't like how it does this, but any eye, by default, the first time you load it up, it starts you off in cheat mode. We don't want that. Uh, any of the items over here that you click, it's going to send them into your inventory and cheat them in. We don't want that. And uh, it's got these cheat buttons up here uh, in the top uh, left, like uh, heal the player and set time. We don't want any of that on there either. We want to play legitimately. So we need to change this from cheat mode, and the way you do that is down here in the bottom left, there's the options, click that, and it gives you this, this is a new window to NEI with a new version. Uh, it can be a little bit confusing at first, so where are those buttons to change it? Well, it's actually under inventory. Under inventory in here, we can change it out of cheat mode. If we click this, it will uh, give us recipe mode. There's two different modes here. Uh, out that are not cheat mode. There's recipe mode and utility mode. Now, recipe mode makes it so if you click any of those items, they're not. It's not going to cheat them into your inventory, and it's also going to get rid of all the buttons in the uh, top left there. Utility mode, it um, it adds, it, it has the same functionality as recipe, whereas it's not going to let you cheat in items. But in the top left up there, it's going to add these two things in: uh, delete, so you can delete items, and a magnet mode, which pulls things out there on the ground uh, from farther away. It pulls them into your inventory farther than normal. Uh, in the previous versions of NEI, these were the only two that were in utility mode, and that was that. Now, though, with this new version, you can actually customize what uh, utilities show up over there. So we can turn on any of these other things just by left-clicking it or turn them off by right-clicking. I'm actually going to set rain to be part of the utility mode there. Because, well, it's so loud, and I find it very annoying. So if it starts to rain, it, it, rather than having to pause the recording or something, I can just turn the rain off. So I'm going to put that in utility mode with the rain on. So that will be the only thing that we have there. Uh, everything else, totally legit. But if you're like me and you find all of this very cluttered, and you don't want uh, to have this showing at all times, all you have to do is hit O on your keyboard, and it hides it. Hit O again and it brings it back up. So, I'm going to hide that so it's just my you know, clean, vanilla-looking inventory. And that's that. Alright, so let's make some sticks here. And a uh, craft table, like always. Awesome. And we will plop that down. Get us an axe. Just a few basic tools here to get started with. And um, a pick so we can get some stone cool oh one thing another thing I do want to show you guys obviously you know if you put something in there so you didn't have enough sticks to go dope need to make more sticks first and you close this it's just gonna shoot it out on the ground very annoying there's a way around that now with Tinker's Construct 
and check this out. If you just take your crafting table, drop it into the craft window here, you can pull out a crafting station. Works just the same as the craft table, but if you put stuff in here, it does not just throw it out on the ground when you close it. Stays in there. Pretty nifty stuff. So, now that we have a axe, this should go a bit quicker. We do need to pick up several of these pieces of wood. I'd like to have plenty for the first night. Uh, can I get that? Yes. Not gonna be able to get all of this. This is a big tree. <laughs> And boy, does Biomes of Plenty ever add some really big trees in. Holy crap. Just wait till you see some of them. They are massive. So, um, let's see. That should be pretty good for now. Okay. Nice. So, here is, um, as you can see by the Wailia tooltip, blueberry bushes added by Natura. We just right click these uh, blueberries and we can pull them off. They are a pretty good food source early on. Whoops. Get rid of that book there. There we go. I'm just going to move it up here. We'll need that later. And I'm going to take a few of the bushes with me, actually, so we can replant them elsewhere. There we go. Grab some more of these foods. Whoops. Jeez. Just clicking all over the place here. Maybe a couple more. There we go. Now, the neat thing about these uh, blueberries, there are many different types of berries. There's blueberries, blackberries, strawberries, a whole bunch of different types of berries. They all work the same like that. And uh, the nice thing about them is even though your uh, food bar may be full, you can still eat them. And uh, it will go towards your, uh, your food saturation, meaning that I won't have to eat again for quite a while now. They're very saturating foods. So that's pretty, pretty helpful to find early on. Especially on this first day when you're so stressed for food. Awesome. Well, that should be a uh, yeah, should be enough for now. Um, well, I'll just take these with me. I'll come back and clean that up later. I don't like leaving half chopped down trees. It's very crappy looking, but for now, it's good enough. Um, all right, and I would convert some of these. I want to save some of the logs, though, in case I can't find any coal. We can always make some charcoal with that. So, that'd be pretty good. Um, well, you know what? Of course, we do need to find some wheat seeds and uh, barley seeds and whatnot to get uh, food production going. But it's pretty slow hitting these one at a time. So, I'm going to make something that new that was added by the uh, Red Power, or, well, Red Power's replacement, Project Red. And it is a sickle. And uh, you, the easiest one to make is with wood. And you arrange these wood planks like that and a stick there. It looks kind of like a sickle. I'm going to pull that out. And um, this thing is pretty neat. It picks up large chunks of uh, grass. You can actually use this on the uh, leaves as well. And you can really quickly clear out the leaves from a, uh, a tree. It's really nice. Really, really nice. The, uh, the seeds that are in here are the same seeds as um, Unleashed. You got the uh, barley and obviously regular old vanilla seeds and cotton seeds, just like Unleashed. And we'll go into more about what all those do, but you're going to need all three. Very useful to have. Nice. Aha. Uh -huh. Get some more of these. Need lots of them. I see something going to die. <laughs> ah, sorry, sheepy sheep. Blah, blah, black sheep. Have you any wool? Die. Need your wool. No, that uh, black thing was not a uh, an error, an animation glitch. Uh, that was actually the first time you kill something, it's going to do that animation. And um, that's on purpose, added by um, Morph. We'll talk more about Morph and all the cool things you can do with that later on. But just know, know that you're not having a stroke or glitching out. It's supposed to do that. Alright, three pieces of wool. Make a bed. What? Whoop. Oh, that does pull off. Huh, didn't know it would pull off the bushes like that. Nice to know. Get a few more of these. Do a little exploring here, see if we can't find a uh, cave. Hello. A home. Oh, that looks nice. We'll come back for that. Heck yeah. 
Let's just go up this way, though. You know, I really need to find some cobblestone and make a sword. It's going to get night soon. I can sense it. Get a few pieces of dirt here as well. You can never have too much dirt. Very useful stuff. <laughs> Let's just come up here. Oh, lagging out a bit. That's strange. Not supposed to do that. I have actually allocated extra memory resources. Uh, nice. Um, now, if you have a uh, an older computer that which just barely ran unleashed, chances are you're probably not going to be able to to run the uh, the new 1.6 mods. They require significantly more uh, system resources. Um, if you are using a 32-bit operating system, you can pretty much forget it. Um, you have to use a 64-bit, like uh, Windows 7 or uh, Windows 8 64-bit. Um, the reason for that is the amount of RAM. Um, let me pick some of this up. The sun's going down. Great. Um, on the launcher, if you click the Options tab at the top, uh, there's a slider in there to um, to increase the amount of RAM that's being used. And um, if that's grayed out, that means you're running 32-bit, and uh, by default, it's going to be set to 1 gigabyte. That's not enough. That is not, I stress, not enough to run the 1.6 packs. It's just going to fail to launch. Um, you have to increase that. Uh, the FTB team recommends you increase that. Ooh, I don't know. Increase it to um, 2 gigabytes. Uh, I've increased mine to 3. So, uh, yeah, be aware of that. Um, even, it should be, I'm pretty sure that if you're, if you're running a 64-bit operating system and that's still grayed out, it might be because you are not, you don't have Java 64-bit. So go get, uh, go get the Java 64-bit and then it won't be grayed out, I don't think. I don't know. I'm not a tech support guy. Anyway, just thought you guys should know that if you're having issues getting it to run. Very glad I found some coal here. It's awesome. And uh, I'm gonna grab a few bits of this before I head into this cave. Heck yeah. Alright, what do we have in here? Oh, pfft. Not much of a cave. <laughs> Alright, um, guess I'm gonna have to spend the night in here anyway. You know, that's a good place to make is my first little hidey hole. Yeah. That should do. Just nicely. Let's uh, block it off, though, so we can't get eaten. <laughs> awesome. Maybe uh, place a torch out here. Keep the monsters at bay. Kind of. Not gonna do much, but might help some. Probably not. All right. Light this area up. Yeah, this looks like a good hidey hole. Um, put that there. Very nice. I like it. Start planting my stuff down here. Um, let's see. How about we put you here? Awesome. First things first, we need a damn sword. Oh yeah, definitely. Let's get a better pick. And uh, maybe a shovel as well. Yes. Um, yeah, we're going to need a furnace, for sure. Let's put that... How about right... No, I don't want that there. It's not in the corner enough. You know what? Let's put it in that corner and just move this underneath it. Oh, hello. I hear a cave. Heck yeah. Where was it? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! <laughs> it did it to me again! Another... Ah, freaking anti-caves. That's what I call these false caves. Anti-caves. <laughs> Lame. Oh, well. Where was I? Um, let's see. I guess we'll make a chest. Let's store some of this stuff. I don't need to be carrying all these seeds and uh, whatnots. Let's drop that right over here. Yeah. Put these in there for now. The book, we don't want to lose that. Uh, sapling. Um, yeah, I don't need these, like, 
clovers and different flowers and stuff. That's not going to help me much. Awesome. Cool, cool. And, you know, let's make that bed since it is night. I don't know where to put that. Um, maybe make a little bedroom back here for now. It's kind of cramped in here. And this is, uh, if you're wondering, appetite ore. Um, not picking it up right now, but I will in a sec. Uh, I should say that um, with the new pack here, appetite has been made a lot less annoying. Oh my gosh, if you played uh, in the previous versions of um, either the 1.4 or uh, Unleashed, you would know that appetite spawned in huge chunks. I mean, like, you wouldn't just get these three pieces of ore. It would be attached to a vein that would have, like, 50 blocks. And it was ridiculously annoying trying to pick it up. That has since changed. More than likely, there's only those three blocks there. Thank God. That was... Oh, my God. I really hated that. Um, so, I'm so, so glad that they've changed that. All right. That looks good. Some of this blueberry. Eat a couple of extras. There we go. And um, let's cook some of these up since we didn't find much coal. For right now, let's just do that. Yeah, I think we're going to need to. Um, I'm also going to need a better axe for when that wood one breaks. It's going to happen pretty soon, I bet. Okay, here we go. Oh, no, put that in there. Cool. Alright, so, not bad. Not bad at all. Clear some of this out. Um, I'll do some more decorating there later on. Alright, copper ore. That could come in handy. Nice. There are a lot of skeletons out there. Make a few extra torches here. I like to get as many torches as I possibly can. I'd prefer to have like a whole full stack of them. I use torches like a madman. Don't like the dark, it scares me. Mm. Yes, I'm scared of the dark. So what? You wanna fight about it? Hmm? <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, it's still nighttime out there. You know, I should cover that up because with the um, 1.6 vanilla patch, they really did amp up the monsters, so I gotta give them credit for that. They added in those little tiny... Oh my god, I hate them. The little tiny... Uh, baby zombies, and they're only, I think, one block high, so they could climb up in there. I don't want that happening. Those are nasty little buggers. And, um, I also should say that this new mod pack, the uh, DW20 for 1.6, has Ars Magica in it, and Ars Magica adds a crap ton of exceedingly creepy and pretty tough monsters to the overworld. Um, like, elementals, and, uh, these, like, Whispering death, heck it, wraith things. Oh, they're so nasty. So, yeah, be prepared for that. Alright. And, you know what? I think it's probably a past due for a good wrapping up point. Um, we've got a... Can I pick this up with that? Yeah. We've got a nice little hidey hole going here that uh, will suit our needs, temporarily at least. Yeah. That should be good. Um door for this. So yeah, I'm going to cut the episode here. I um, hope you did enjoy. Uh, stay tuned for more. I'm going to try to get these you know, rolling out on a pretty regular basis, like every day, every other day, uh, and try to get back to a regular schedule. So uh, keep tuned for that. Um, as always, don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe for more. Until next time, I hope you all have a good one.